Hey -o. Hi everybody. Hey -o. Oopsie. Before we start, reminders. We're fundraising for the Trevor Project still. We are I mean, I know the goal of a thousand dollars is lofty, but we do have two stream specific goals. One is if we hit one hundred dollars, I will give away a copy of the campaign we are playing on roll twenty. Um, including all of my custom maps. If we hit $150 today, I'm going to give away a copy of the Playing With Pride Humble Bundle, because it's real cool, and it also supports the Trevor Project, so it'll be doubling down on our impact. That being said, when we were last here, um, Alexi met an unfortunate end. As hinted in the title, he'll be returning sooner rather than later. I, Trina, your I, inhales are very... I broke Trina by being like, Alexi died. It's gonna be one of Trina's those like, days, hilarious. isn't it? <laughs> like, well, okay. Trina's just like, Ahmed suffering is hilarious. It is, obviously. Objectively, she is right. Objectively, yes. <laughs> I I'm gonna say it might not have been the nicest death, but it was cool. It was. It was and heroic. A cool Isn't death he is always nice. Two pieces on the floor. I may be in two pieces on the floor. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna You're have only to in like two collect. Pieces? No, you guys put him in the bag of holding. Remember. <laughs> Right, right, we oh, did. Oh, yeah. He's in He's two in pieces, pieces. I, yeah. in a bag of holding. <laughs> Just hanging out. No big deal. <laughs> this leaves the, le the rest of the party to uh, sort of decide where you're going to go next. Um, I'll, I'll do a little bit of a metagame nudge and tell you that exploring the dungeon is what's going to get you your fighter back slash progress things. Um, this was the fight, hardest fight down here. Not that everything you encounter will be first. easy. <laughs> we are just, uh... Oh, and you, you know, guys we... did also find the, uh, plus one bonk stick. <laughs> plus one bonk. Plus one bonk. We're keeping for Alexi, right? And that creates light bonk. at will and does magic damage. Yes. Love that for us. The very thing that would have helped you with this fight. But you know. For the future. We're just hidden behind this boss. Like, we weren't exactly going to run in and be like, wait, don't hit me. Looking in this chair. We weren't. <laughs> That's <the> next time. <laughs> Do we have a rogue in our pot? We don't have a rogue. We need a rogue. I'm sorry, I can't help with that. <laughs> I come back a fighter. I die a fighter. I come back a fighter. Yeah, I'll be a, a I'll be a rogue too, next uh, playthrough. I'll, um, I'll I'll move away I'm from only, being I'm, a mediocre right white now, man playing um, another mediocre white man. I mm. do need more characters for our uh, special one shot. Oh yes, I we will be about, messaging yes. you. We have about a month. Yes. And I have to we have to make characters up to level 10. I so far have one character fully done and one started, but Emily will do it on her own. She'll still procrastinate, but <laughs> we know. Yeah, I'm going to message you this week to okay. uh, I yeah. wonder who the one that's fully done is. <laughs> in, in my okay. defense, I, I I I need help and I've been busy. This is true. In my defense, I don't really have any, but um, I. But reading and looking at things makes me dizzy. So you could like... use the fact that I was just on vacation. There's that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we blame you. It's your fault. We, we haven't have done our stuff. The assistance we needed. <laughs> we right. need a lot of help. We do. We always need a lot of help. Um, we are targeted. We are uh, streaming under the neurodivergent tag because we... <laughs> finally, as we should do the whole time. Why are you rolling dice? <laughs> <laughs> to center us all on the on the roll twenty screen. Fair enough. I was about to try and bring us back, but I also brought us away. So, 
Again, it's all your fault, Cat. Always my fault. <laughs> I mean, you. It, no matter what, it's my fault. No matter what, obviously. <laughs> okay. So, in the room you're in, you currently, the only way out you see is the way that you came. Cool. Can we look for another way? Sorry? We've we've gotten everything out of this room, right? We've already searched this room, haven't we? Yeah, you you've looted all the bodies. You've uh you found the glowing bonk stick. You've basically done everything you would need to do in this room. I vaguely remember us taking a short rest, is that correct? So technically you can't take another short rest before taking another long rest, but I will let you use up to the remainder of your hit dice, because I'm just really nice and you guys had a really hard encounter here. We did, it was hard. There were yeah, tears. it was. Mistakes <laughs> <laughs> are made in this room. In so wait, how do I... What's my hit dice? Is that a d10? There is a part in your character sheet that says hit dice. If you click it, it will automatically mm. roll it Under and add your constitution. Points. This makes sense. <laughs> Good news. The uh the tank fully healed as well. Your NPC tank, I mean, not Is she down yeah. here with us? Yeah, right here. She was the one doing no damage that whole fight. She and also always no misses. Any she could, yeah, she couldn't do any damage. I remember this now. Okay. And took no aggro. <laughs> Why do I see two phalans? It's because you deleted it's me from the map. Omnipotent. I so wait. <laughs> I, oh, I just roll my hit dice, don't I? That's what I do. I do yeah, that. and then, then I get just add that 11. to your current health. That takes me back to full! Yay! Yay! Where We're is not gonna health? die! I still Yay. might die. I'm very squishy. <laughs> I'm very squishy. So we add six to our current hit points, you're saying? Okay. Yeah, you so add, you, you would well, add six. Sorry. Yeah, up okay, to yeah. full. Up to full. No overheal. Yeah. yeah. Is there an over... I guess temporary hit points are like an overheal. Hmm. Yeah. Sort of. I want to I wanna know if someone can overheal. That would be fun. Just, just wait for, uh, wait for our upcoming one shot. You'll get to see lots of that, actually. Lots. Ooh. What's that? I accidentally got rid of Phelan's initiative, so I'm just going to give you a new one. Okay. <laughs> Bye, Phelan. Wow, it's better. <laughs> I do not like having initiatives. Um. I forgot but. how low my initiative was. <laughs> Wait, I thought... Because it was from the combat. We already had. Mm. Mm -hmm. okay, so we're heading out of this room, eh? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's uh, kind of the All right. So we, we came in from the east and we looked through these corridors, didn't we? It looks like you have kind of looked around this corner. Um, oh, not really that might have been down me there, though. Around. And you guys, yeah, you came from this way, and you just kind of looked down corridors. You passed by a couple doors. I mean, I feel like going to the to the left. Left it is. The natural progression. Did we to go the down left, the corridor? The left. If... If we look down this way, did we go down this corridor that's north of me right now? Was there anything down there? That's just a dead end. It's just a yeah. dead end, and there are no doors or anything. No, it's just a dead end. Okay. And someone moved my character for me. I'm going to pull up Roll20 on a different device, because I think my computer is a str struggling with multiple things open. Gotcha. Yeah, no, no. I will keep moving around anyone who cannot be moved around on their own. I'll just generally keep you up with the party. We won't worry about marching order until we get into a fight. 
Awesome. I'm sad you took my token away. Well, you're in a bag. You Alexi. wouldn't what stop you moving your corpse around. <laughs> you should give me two tokens to move around. No, you, you, both halves of your body are sitting in a bag of holding. Yeah. <laughs> we move your body in the bag. In the bag. This could turn into a song. We move your body in the bag. <laughs> we move the bodies in the bag. Move the, the bodies. bodies in the bag. <laughs> the, hit, the hit sequel to Let the Bodies Hit the Floor. <laughs> On the bright the side, Alexi is bag. always with us. Uh, <laughs> it's like I can hear him now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh god you know when you just forget how spoiled you are with like an actual pc that has real components and you go back to your old laptop and like it can't even run an internet browser <laughs> i got so frustrated i i literally sold my laptop i was like i'm so done with you this is dead i wish i could but we travel too much <laughs> i've not known any better your laptop has enough kick, though. Yeah, I know. I got a laptop. Plus, you only use one powerful. screen, so there's only so much trouble you can get into. Yeah. I need all three of mine. I mean, technically, exactly. I use I two them. when I'm streaming, but that's two I laptops. Use my bad laptop. <laughs> I I need a third screen for my home setup, but right now I have my laptop, and then I sidecar to my iPad. So I have I have two screens, but they're both small. All right, campaign. Let's let's keep going. Yeah. <laughs> Someone's gonna have to take the lead on where you're going, yeah. and it's gonna have to be someone with decent connection. <laughs> and who is alive. And who is alive. Uh, What's down here? I see doorways. You see doorways, and there is another big door. This one is, uh, although they look the same on the map, it's not as opulent as the other one. This one's definitely built for, like, security. Like, it's like a heavy mm -hmm. steel door. Is it unlocked? You would have to go up to it to find out. Oh wait, is it down this corridor? It's uh down at down at the end here. It's down oh it's down at the end, okay. It's this one? The one that you just Yep. This one there. Oh god, there's so many. I forgot what you put your name in. Me too. Jesus Christ. I have to do some scrolling. Here we are. Scrolling's what we'll do. Okay. Um. So yeah, I guess Aaron and I'll walk up to the door and uh, try and open it. Okay, and this just... door is locked. Of course it is. And here's the meme of I seduce the door, but that's not going to work. <laughs> How does one seduce a door? <laughs> it has to be a sentient door, and this is not a sentient door. Of course sentient doors exist! So wait, sentient we have a doorway right here. And they're exists. adorable! <laughs> oh my god, happily. Yeah? <laughs> you want to know if that one's locked? Yeah, please. That door is unlocked. Okay, I'd like to creak it open just a peek, please. Basically, you see a series of closets along the wall. You don't see anybody in there. Can I hear anyone? Nope. All right, I'm gonna give the door just a good little, a good little push open, please. Oh, okay. Oh, there is a bit oh. missing. There's a bit missing. Oh, I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> this is where the enemies are hidden. <laughs> there is another door in this room. Um. Wow. Is it at the top right corner up here? Yeah. 
Okay. Now so in this we room, see... there is a series of closets closets along the wall. Okay. Do we notice anything about these closets? They're currently closed. You can look inside them. I wonder what is, kind of fashion sense. Can, can I can that? I roll insight, please? <laughs> You're gonna roll insight on the closets. You wanna know the closets' intentions, Anthony? I wanna know if these closets are doorways to Narnia. <laughs> roll an arcana Roll an arcana check. An arcana check? Oh god, yeah. I don't even know if I have a good arcana. I don't, I don't care. No one else can anyway. roll it. Only Anthony can roll this arcana check. <laughs> it's what you get for request and rolls. <laughs> I tried it. I don't, know if it's, I don't know if it's worked. At 15, you're pretty sure this is not a doorway to another dimension, <laughs> but probably just a regular closet. <laughs> okay, <laughs> why are you are you wondering why we are skeptical of everything? We have every right to be right now. Is that table a mimic? Am I a mimic? <laughs> a closet is ever a closet. Oh my god. In all fairness, I wasn't worried about it being a mimic. I was worried about it being a portal to another dimension where I opened the door and a vacuum sucked me into it and I disappeared forever. <laughs> it's quite you the act like I'm door. so mean. <laughs> We act like you're sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah, not sneaky. maybe when we open the closet, that's where we're like, <laughs> just the dumb. Body will be. <laughs> and we're dumb. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna open this closet that's right in front of me. This one in the middle. And I'll open the one at the bottom. Inside of these closets, there is the robes and vestments worn by the cultists you've seen around. Ooh. We Do should we think use we should some, uh... pop these on? Yeah. Some... Ooh, play a little dress up, yeah. Some heckin', uh, some heckin'. Yeah. What's the word when you're. What is the word? Disguise? Disguise! <laughs> drag? <laughs> is that is not... word. <laughs> I mean, you could do so a drag look. Look, I live in the water. Want. We don't need to disguise ourselves often. <laughs> <laughs> I was calling the fork a thingamabob for like the first like, 20 years of my life, guys. Stay <laughs> <Hey>, you still learning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw on a, a cult robe. Yeah, give me that. Give me that cult robe. Okay, um, I'm going to say all of you put on cult robes, except Claudia. Claudia can't wear a robe. <laughs> Can we just throw a robe over Claudia? I think people might notice that it's a tiger wearing a robe. <laughs> which might draw more yeah, attention than just the robe a tiger. Into a tiger. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're looking to go like full Scooby-Doo here and have Claudia walk around What's on her that? hind legs pretending to be someone's grandma. <gasps> With, oh my god! With, yes. with, what the? What? What's the? What's if you need one to on like top, be on like her back in a trench coat. Yeah, if you need someone to be on her back to be like a face, that would work. <laughs> so I'm gonna need Panda. If you want to do this, um, you need to roll a deception check. Uh-oh, I think Panda might be I think frozen. Panda is frozen Panda in time be. again. <laughs> Please leave a message. Otherwise, she's just I know that she's having trouble with her now. machine and her connection. There she is. Welcome so I don't know back. if you heard me, Panda, but you have to roll a deception check if we want to disguise Claudia as a cultist, which everyone <laughs> seems really down for because we all love Scooby-Doo, apparently. Yes! <laughs> yeah, Scooby-Dooby-Doo. Where are you? Where are you? We have some work to do now. (laughs) Oh, 15. That's good, right? Okay, so you have a a tiger in a cloak in a vaguely humanoid pose. You might be able to get away with people thinking that this is a person who's just hideously deformed. Uh Uh-oh, Panda (laughs) disappeared again and it broke the entire stream setup. 
It's Yay. okay. Oh no. That's not good. This is where I'm we gonna give this now. a minute, then I'll go to our technical difficulties page. <laughs> I'm still where I belong. It's How okay. Always One half of Anthony's I'm, face. I'm half a DM now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can do half the work. That's uh I'm excited for that idea actually. I have no idea how to DM. I barely know how to play. <laughs> Me being like, roll this. Okay, I don't know what that actually means, but I that's started been DMing rolled. before fifth edition was even fully out. <laughs> I started DMing from the playtest having like played twice. <laughs> it's not that hard. Okay, but <laughs> like, okay, you've seen us just as participants. Can you imagine? We would derail the campaign as a DM by accident. <laughs> oh, I have plans. <laughs> what do you mean? Emily has plans for DMing, is what she means, and I'm behind those plans. 100%. <laughs> yeah, I, I think have that would be really fun, fun, stupid ideas. <laughs> I love fun, stupid ideas. Okay, so everybody has dressed themselves up as a cultist. Uh, Claudia, you know, you might be able to pass Claudia off as a were-tiger. Nice. The question is, where to well, now? Tell everyone she's mean. <laughs> where shall we go? Well, there's these doors right up here. Okay. La 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 la. Okay, so if you're talking about the door right here, yeah. um, you can come up to it, you give a listen. You know, you hear guys, a couple of guys talking pretty loudly. Well, yeah, like the pay's pretty good here, but I really wish that we got dental. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about, man. Like, you don't get <laughs> benefits at this type of job. The benefit is that we get paid to, you know, do what we love. What, just murder? Yeah, it's murder. <laughs> I really feel like they should be unionized. <laughs> <laughs> no dental? All murder, no dental? Not okay, no this, is, this is hitting too we're, real now. We're all, <laughs> we're, we're all dressed up like them. We could go in there and try to convince them to unionize, really yes! derail everything. We're going to get the cultists to unionize. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm going to take away the little thing I drew. Yeah. Shouldn't have, well, should have been there, then shouldn't have been there. Me um, anytime I hear, we don't have benefits. Unions! <laughs> I'm... Uh, <laughs> okay. Benefits. So you get the door open, and <laughs> I'm just gonna say, Aaron walks through just like, it sounds like you could use a union. <laughs> You know, guys, I, I, I know I've got lots of teeth. I get it. We need dental. We should really think about you. Oh, well, yeah. Okay? But, you know, it's really hard to convince the boss when they'll just immolate someone who speaks up too loud. You know, it really makes a hostile work environment. I mean, what are they going to do? Immolate all of us? I have no followers? That oh, is you know, making of a bad company. You're going to have to convince like a lot of the guys here. Otherwise, you know, we're, we're definitely dealing with with a lot of a lot of emulation. <laughs> we'll lose the workforce. I mean, I mean, you guys could obviously, I mean, <laughs> you guys are so charismatic, I'm sure. You can help. Roll we me can a persuasion all check. convince everyone together. Roll me a persuasion um, check. I'm literally yeah. trying to unionize cult leaders well, instead I of doing I unionize. honestly hope Anything? this works. Really, 18. 18. <laughs> Okay, that's like I said, I have lots of teeth, big chompers. I gotta take care of these things, and this dental plan is just not it. <laughs> and that's gonna be against and let's just ooh. Here's uh -oh. the thing: you rolled really well on a wisdom save oh, against no. it, but also at the same time, I feel like you're making enough sense, and I kind of want this to work. So we're gonna we're gonna go for the middle ground here. <laughs> well, you know, like 
I can't speak for everybody, but maybe maybe we can go next door and you can you can speak to the rest of the rest of the. Hey, that's a funny looking cloak over there. Uh, you can speak to everyone else and see if they're interested. <laughs> Oh, yeah, uh, we Tommy don't discriminate in cults, do we? <laughs> I mean, like, actually, we pretty actively discriminate. I'm not gonna lie. We don't have a whole lot of equal representation down here, but that's also part of the problem. You know, me and the guys have been talking about how, like, you know, are, are, are virgins just for sacrifices, or could they be doing better work? I mean, you guys bring up a lot of good points. Um... Who who would you say is like the the head of the underlings? Like who who should we be talking to? Who well, would have a lot of that's me and Freddie over here. Yeah, yeah, that's like that's our whole thing. I mean, if we speak up too loud, we'll get you know murdered and replaced with someone new. But like for right now, we get a bit of power. Man, I don't know what you're talking about. We have it good here, you know. We get to kill some people. We get paid for that. That's like. But are you happy? That's exactly what I'm saying. Even if you get paid to do what you love, it doesn't mean you love what you do. You know? You know, I've been in a lot of therapy. <laughs> and generally, if you think in your core that you deserve better, you need to fight for that. Because who else will? I know, like, it's all good to have, you know, a good job, but, like, if I, if, if I get sick and I, I can't take care of myself, how am I supposed to feel secure? All right, fine. You know what? You know what? You got it, Joe. Let's go talk to the guys and see if they're all down. Reunionizing a cult. <laughs> what do you do on them? Vive la revolution. <laughs> um, so they're going to open the door to the next room and kind of lead you in. To where there is just a big old group of people in these cult robes. You know, they're they're in their leisure time right now. They're not sleeping. They're hanging out, playing cards, doing whatever it is that cultists do on their off time. Um And yeah, I'm just gonna drag everyone in there because you know yeah, you. I know people have connection issues. Just a little bit. We're on Wi-Fi that was definitely not intended for more than one PC. <laughs> mm. Even I'm not the most central with my Wi-Fi. I am getting a hard line soon. But even that will only help so much. Um. So uh, Joe kind of stands up on one of the beds and goes, All right, guys, uh, we have we have some newcomers here who I think have some really good ideas. And uh, I think we're going to take... Take a vote today, but first I'm gonna let our new friends. Uh, sorry, what are your names? I'm gonna let our new friends give you give you a little presentation on what they're thinking. I'm well, I'm Joanne. Um, and they overheard. <laughs> uh, it's such a similar name. About... Oh, what a coincidence! Oh my god, Joe, you're so right. That's so funny. <laughs> 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 Just saying that anyway, you guys cannot heard... adopt Joe into the party. He cannot stay. Oh, really? Uh, I mean, why not? Cultist who loves murder. So he <laughs> might not. We, we, we could definitely pay for his dental, though. We could yeah, change wait, him. Wait, 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 wait. What if he's just been indoctrinated we... and he has a heart, but he just... He, he's I believe there nothing. was just a conversation before before we started today, or was it yesterday, saying we're adopting too many pets. We need to stop. <laughs> and now you guys are like, we can't pets. kiss Joe! I don't remember the phrase, too many pets. But, idea, if Listen. we unionize the cultists, can we just have a cult that follows us around like a little army that we don't control, but you know, they're just kind of there? And if we can't win based on luck of the roll, we should try to win based on numbers. Easy. So so exactly. we, we went get from trying to convince Cat because there's a hundred cultists behind we, us. We convince we went from trying to convince Cat for one person to try to convince an entire cult. <laughs> is that what I'm hearing? <laughs> I mean, go make a go home. <laughs> All right, so I, I think it's probably about time that you folks uh, tell them what's uh, what's going on, what the plan's going to be. Have y'all heard of unions? 
Uh, some the sort of is, grumbles of agreement, yeah. 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 The thing is, we're kind of friends of the Duke. Um, you are not. <laughs> no, no, but we're going to kill the Duke, and then their son will be the Duke, and then it won't be a lie anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, it will be true. It's a preemptive truth. <laughs> I'm not lying. Uh, I am telling a pre-truth. Taking <laughs> <laughs> to a whole new level. That's very on brand for Aridin. Um Yeah, so we're friends with the Duke, and you know, I just think they'd be willing to to hear us out if if you guys wanted to unionize. I think you guys deserve so much better. I don't know, this job is pretty great, like, room and board, as much money as I could pickpocket, Y'all don't murder. even you still have all your teeth. <laughs> yeah, what's gonna happen when you're in, like, a big fight and someone knocks out your teeth and then you can't get them fixed? She's got a point, how can I eat someone's face if I don't have any teeth? <laughs> See? Exactly! And coming from someone who apparently, allegedly, people say, like, our ancestors, like, ate people off boats that were, like, stranded and stuff. That's really important! And don't you remember what happened to Steve a couple of months ago? All his teeth fell out and then he just lost all the joy of the job because he couldn't eat faces anymore. Just and then he just had loved eating faces! And now... And now Steve's a janitor and he's miserable. Justice for Steve. He's a Justice janitor. I thought for he, I thought Steve. Steve died. Steve died for sure. Oh, Steve. He's a janitor now. Just, That's worse. Steve. Justice for <laughs> Steve. No shade to actual janitors out there. Yeah, That's no. an in-character thought. <laughs> they just all love killing so much that cleaning sounds so dreadful. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna guess that. Well. Either Phelan or Aridin, one of you has the highest charisma. One of you is going to make a persuasion check with advantage. Okay, let me see what my charisma is. Uh, I Justice have... for Steve, he can't eat faces anymore. <laughs> is it persuasion or just charisma? Persuasion. My... Persuasion, oh, persuasion. I've got a plus six. Persuasion, I... What? <laughs> I am only charisma. You're not going to be that. I have that. nothing else. <laughs> I'm a fragile um, little flower with what, a lot of charisma. What's the little number beside your persuasion? I don't have... Oh, three. Sorry, three. Yeah. Alright, let's give it to Aridin then. Yeah. You we'll can roll Aridin, that with yeah. advantage. Oh! Oh, that means I rolled a four. That's a bad one. Oh! Oh, no. Oh, no. My charms are starting to wear off a little. I think Phelan. I'm starting to process the fact yeah. that I'm going to give you guys dead. one extra chance on this. Again, because I love the idea so much. And I don't want to be <laughs> too beholden to the rules. Phelan. Yes. Aridin is stumbling and failing to sell these people on a union. I want you to roll a charisma save. Okay. And if it's good enough, you are going to save her. Nice. Unnatural, Heck but yeah. it is a 20. Heck yeah. Um, so, Aridin, you start promoting all the wrong bits. You know, you're talking about taking care of families and being well enough to earn a living. And, you know, they're worried about eating faces, okay? But Phelan, with her more naive charm, is able to uh, swing yeah. things back in your direction. You know... You're not actually into eating faces, but you really sell that you are. So they, they yeah. think, like, like you know, you we, know should, we should hang out sometime. We should, uh, you know, find some, some peasants and, you know, just chow down. Yeah, because, like, everyone's acting like us, like, eating random men oh. on boats was, like, a bad thing. But, like, honestly, think of the, like, stranded, like princesses that like didn't want to be with those men that got to escape because of us we're heroes and like y'all just be heroes too oh i'm not really into the face eating but you know waste not want not <laughs> well i guess the only thing left is uh we're gonna take a vote 
and you you get the you get the majority. There's a couple people who were still thrown off. You know, they're just kind of looking at Claudia, really curious. Uh, they're a bit thrown off by Aaron, but you do get enough of a majority vote that they decide they're going to unionize. Um, and I already forgot the name I gave to the two leaders, other than Joe. Yeah, we got the Joe. Else? Um, Joe and Freddy. 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 Joe and Freddy. <laughs> That's hilarious. My name's also Freddy. Oh my goodness! Oh, see, so we all have so much in common. <laughs> all right. Uh, I, I guess uh, Freddy and I are gonna go talk to the boss now. Do you guys, you guys want to come? Cause like, she's a bit intimidating. Yes. The cruel voice. <laughs> you know, Joe, I believe in you. You can do this. You can wait, help. but would it wouldn't we love to have a nice, calm, non-violent, for sure non-violent conversation with the Duke? <laughs> yeah, actually, you know what? Why doesn't everybody come? <laughs> You know, um, strength in numbers. Yes. Oh, well, there's only so much, Wait. so many of us that can fit in there. Can so we... I think us two and like you newcomers who like, I'm really yeah. not sure what we recruited more, but I'm happy to have you here. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll go talk to the Duke. I think everyone else can just stay here, relax. You know, think about how they're going to use their their new dental coverage. Cream on all those faces. <laughs> um. So this is gonna lead you kind of back towards that vault door and down the hall a little bit. Um, I, again, I'm gonna move you guys just to kind of make it a bit easier oh. for you to find your way. Mm -hmm. My bad. It's okay. I could very easily just like grab your token from wherever you were. Uh, so they come to this wall here and they kind of tap like a secret code into the wall. And uh, the wall itself actually slides open to reveal the Duke's secret chamber. Nice. Tweet nups. Secret chamber. Secret chamber. Secret chamber. <laughs> Through In the, the dungeon. dungeon. Secret, 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 secret chamber. I'm going <laughs> to highly recommend. Okay, so I will say this. I'm I'm making you guys stack up. She does not have <laughs> any area of effect that's going to be a problem for you guys, but I am going to suggest we keep Claudia out here. Uh, I don't want to endanger Claudia needlessly because she does have rather oomphy individual attacks if this goes sideways. Um, okay. So it's actually going to be Freddy who speaks up first. Just, uh, hey boss, we got... Uh, we're talking to some of these newcomers here, and, uh... We really think they've got some points to make. Yeah, I, I think that, uh... I think that those of us who are at the bottom here could really be doing a little bit better, and, uh... So we voted to create a union! So there's gonna be a series of challenges here for you guys, and your challenge is to try and make this not turn into a combat, but the odds are not in your favor. First off... <laughs> Duke's gonna say, newcomers? We haven't had a recruit in a week. What do you mean, newcomers? On your feet, who's coming up with the best excuse right now? You were. We're actually transferred. Last week, um... our, uh, yes. <laughs> transferred. Yeah, we transferred from another branch. <laughs> You, you brought us in. We were posted out in the town, but you had us come back a couple days ago because you were worried about, you know, some proverbial hitting the fan. Jody just gave us a sound alert. That did not happen. I'm so sorry. I don't know what went wrong with it. I'm in danger. I'm in danger. I'm sorry, Jody. I don't have Twitch open because our internet connection sucks right now, but hello! Oh. <laughs> Welcome on in, Juddy. Welcome, welcome. Um, I'm just going to see if I can um, fix that. We 
We have transfers as well. Okay, so you're saying that your transfers, um, again, any one of you can roll a deception check. There's no advantage on this one. I think I have... I on deception? Have a plus six to deception. Oh, I only have a plus one. I just have a plus one for deception as well. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and roll better this time. Can nope. we use persuasion? Uh, I'm in danger! No, this one is specifically deception. We are lying. Worth a try. This is not a pre-truth. This is a full lie. This is, this is just a lie. Yeah. Um... The Duke just kind of looks at you guys and says, So it's totally unrelated that there was a bunch of intruders in my mansion that I fought with, and then now you're down here to unionize my followers? I think not. I think you guys have been hoodwinked. However, you guys were really convincing for Joe and Freddy, so they're not buying what she's selling. They're like, no, no, no! They're on our side! You're just looking for an excuse not to let us unionize! Also, if you would have noticed, there were five intruders, and there's only actually four of us here, so there's no way we could be that same group. And also, Okay, frankly, no, I'm gonna give you an extra- are... I'm gonna give you an extra persuasion check on that one. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Persuasion? Persuasion. Persuasion. Or deception, you can choose. I'm rolling. I have right. one, so. I have one for I both of those, so. Do we want to risk me trying again? <laughs> no. No. See, that's better. It's better. <laughs> so, again, with that result, Joe and Freddy, they're entirely on board with you guys. Um... The Duke is not. So, at this point, she's just going to throw out a... I guess you guys are just needing to be replaced. And she's going to move to attack these guys, but we're going to get into initiative order, so I'm going to give them initiative, I'm going to give her initiative, and then we'll go into it. There's no surprise rounds here. Everybody knows, who's, knows that this is about to become a fight. Sure. Um, initiative... initiative oh you know who i forgot your tank who's just oh, right. right around the corner don't again. forget our tank we need the tank please please tank hit today I want. That's. No, no. Are these cultists actually going to do any damage, or are they just very much human body Eat armor? Shields. Gonna... Also, are the cultists on our side or on the cultists her are with side? you guys? You you convince them oh, they want to unionize. They think they need to yeah. stop the duke who's going to unfairly immolate us. Uh, just kill them off and replace <laughs> them. Her just initiative is all. crap. So, Panda, you're going to start us off. Love that first. Great. Um, all right. Well, I guess I'll start us off. We're pretty close to her. Uh, how far of a reach does my whip have? Do I need to go right next to her to use my whip? Uh, you're... Whip has 10 feet of reach, so if you took one step forward, you would be able to reach the Duke. All right, so I'll move one step forward, and then I will try my luck. Nope, nope. Cheers to that. Actually, no, that will hit. She's not wearing oh. any armor. Um, Oops. 
So she did already use that once, but she's going to use it again. Um, so you'll hit her. Um, mm -hmm. your damage roll isn't here. Well, why not? Why not is if a good question. I'm going to look at where your... Where is Whip there? So where, where the roll is, Panda, if you hover over Whip and it turns red, you can click that. That should roll your damage. I think that's what I did do. Oh. I think that just did the same thing. Oh, oh wait, did hang you on. Click? Hang on. And then, and then. There we go. We didn't set on your sheet to auto-roll damage, so just click it one more time now. Okie dokie. Oh. That should give us damage. Okay, and also I'm going to assume go. you used Hunter's Mark because you should still have that active. And it's a bonus yeah. action. So also click on Hunter's Mark. So we get that damage as well. One of my spells. Yes. It's also listed under your Wait. attacks and weapons. Character sheet. Show me stuff. Oh, core. Okay. Attacks and weapons. Attacks and weapons. Attacks and spellcasting. So Hunter's Mark. There, there we go. I, I think I clicked it. Yeah. I'm going to be back in like two seconds. Okay. Got a bit of time. All right, Panda, you've done some damage. Is there anything else you want to do with this turn? Uh, I don't think so. I'll maybe move. Like, if she's not going to attack me back, I'll just move back a spot as well. Jenny, I don't think anyone here can cast Fireball. No. If I could, I would be constantly casting it. Okay, so now... Also, we, we are in too small a space for Fireball. Jenny just wants to get us all killed. Oh, actually... Um... <laughs> Magic! <laughs> uh, I just have to figure out which of these um, our boy Joe is going to use. I think he's going to cast Hold Person. No. Wow. Um. Unfortunately, her her saves. Oh, she crit failed. Um. So she's now paralyzed. As Joe just reset, says, "Stop right there. We deserve our rights." And now she's just like wrapped in these dark eldritch tendrils. Joe. <laughs> and now it's Friedrich's turn. You said that she's not wearing any armor, right? No armor. And she's paralyzed, so you would have advantage on any attacks against her. Nice. Okay, so I am going to fire off a grasping arrow, so I... What? No, just like Wait, she's we being are... very locked down right now. <laughs> it's great. It's great, gonna because then her? everyone else has advantage. Like, shouldn't we just tie her up and take her to her son, though? Or, like, no. We want to murder her? Search her pockets first, though, obviously. Wait, she's paralyzed? She's currently paralyzed. For how oh. long? It, she has a chance to break free every round. You still need to incapacitate uh. her. Okay, so okay, we then. need to incapacitate her at least. Yeah. Then, yeah, I should, I should use the grasping arrow, because that's going to give us the best advantage, because then she's got, like, even if she unparalyzes herself... It's, she needs to it'll get be two out. saves for her to get free instead of one. Yeah. All right. So uh, I ahead. roll the longbow and then the grasping arrow. Did that work? You clicked it twice, but Nine. I'm sorry. Does the seventeen hit? <laughs> the seventeen hits, so she's taking 
5 piercing damage, 11 poison damage, for a total of 16. And yeah. Gina, her, her movement and is reduced by 10 feet, nice. but she already has a movement of 0 currently. But if she gets out of the paralysis, she also has to try and break free of your thorns. How does it feel to poison an old lady, Anthony? Great. I'm gonna get that inheritance, baby. <laughs> she very nearly named you her heir, and you said no. But I'm gonna go through her pockets after I kill her. Yeah, but you can't go through her bank accounts that way. You think people in the city have bank accounts? She's got a vault somewhere in this dungeon. That's, You're both right. There point. is an established bank that uses magical means to keep accounts. Um, that's active all throughout the Sword Coast. But, Friedrich, anything else after you've uh, hit her with that devastating arrow? I want to make a joke about stepping out of the room because fireball, but I'm good. I'm done. Yeah, I, I will promise you guys no fireball. <laughs> Before we kill her, though, we should... Before we kill her, we should figure out where that vault is, though. There is the suspiciously I... large iron-locked door. Well, we should to get the that. code to it first. The code the first. Lock the, the, code the, the lock uses a key. The lock uses a key. You would have... Whoever looked at the lock would have noticed that. All right, Phelan. You're I'm, up. Uh, I... I'm a Yida Trident. <laughs> Go ahead. You have advantage on this attack because she is paralyzed. Awesome. That You have Joe to thank for that. Unnatural 20 for 7 piercing damage. Nice. We're uh, rolling good today. Is that, is that all for you, Phelan? Uh, yeah. I kind of wish you guys had had Joe on your side for the other fight. I don't know how you would have convinced him to fight a demon, but, like... I mean, Joe's great. Like I said, I believed in him from the beginning, you guys. All right, it's Freddy's yeah. turn. Um, Other He's going to cast Spiritual Weapon. Wow, that doesn't give me a description. Thank you. Beautiful. Um, I know... Hang on, I'm just going to look it up through... Uh... By the way, I also have the sound alerts open. In case any of them don't work, I will just make them work. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> if we can't take these characters with us, we at least got to get them a raise with the new Duke. Yeah. We gotta totally. get them into a good position to only eat the faces of those who volunteer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys should not be befriending these characters. No. Um, I mean, we could like always just donation kill donation them afterwards. Bank. Listen, some people in our party are far too Mommy, moral, so it bed. would be nice to have some immoral characters. <laughs> So we could send them off to eat some faces when we need, and then we wouldn't have to feel bad about it. Who are you calling too moral? <laughs> Trina, mostly. <laughs> and Alexi. I am the they only reason the they're unionizing right now, because I talked about my family's history with murder. <laughs> and you know what was an extremely moral move? Unionizing. <laughs> <laughs> Not saying it was a bad idea, it was a fantastic idea, but it was like... dying if the unionizing didn't happen. So, so uh, gonna say, I just want to point out, unionizing was Aridin's point. <laughs> she the, just executed it poorly. <laughs> um, the... Freddy reaches out his hand and creates an ethereal floating um, flail, like cat of nine tails style, like Definitely meant for flagellation. Um, and it slaps her. Uh, she takes eight force damage. Which brings us up to Aridin. Okay. I have another chaos plan. But it might not be worth it. 
What is your chaos idea? So I would like to use all of my sorcery points to cast Reduce and Enlarge to make her smaller so we can put her in the bag of holding, which we know doesn't have any oxygen, and then she'd die. <laughs> Make sure you get stuff from her pockets before you reduce the size of everything so we can hack well, that vault key. Oh, don't worry. It's only temporary, Pandora. <laughs> oh, True. so we can take her dead body out of the bag <laughs> after. Exactly. And then we can get the key and any other trinkets she's got on. And once, well, you know, wait, she has go, no go, go, that being go ahead, Erin, and do it. I, um... <laughs> okay. So, yeah. I, yeah. Um... <laughs> I do that. I have no more sorcery points left. Uh, so I gotta remember what. Uh, so it's a Constitution saving throw from her. Okay. Ooh. She rolled a twenty-one. Oof. Well. This wouldn't be the first time one of my spells backfired. If I gave her disadvantage, which she doesn't get on constitution saves, she would have an 18. Um, side note, are, like, scuba suits a thing in here? Like, in theory, if oh, we yeah, wanted to. Oh, yeah, with the right combination yeah, of items, wanted. create a scuba suit. So we could put someone in the bag of holding in a scuba suit. Yeah. Nice. Even better if you get a decanter of air. Perfect. Okay, so it's now the Duke's turn. She is going to try and escape the hold person. Um, she doesn't take any damage because she doesn't move. Okay. Unfortunately, his DC is incredibly low, so she does get out of the hold person. Um, but that's all she can, that's her action, so that's all she can do. She could move, but she would then just take more poison damage, from, or piercing damage from the thorns, so she's not going to do that. Um, you know what, your tank, your friendly neighborhood tank, she's just not even going to try. You guys have this, and, um, she's embarrassed herself enough recently She's just wow. giving chin scritches to Claudia right now. Nice. I mean, I can't blame her. Claudia Which brings us right back around to Panda. Yep, that is another 11 damage. Sick. And yes... The 10 hit. That is wild. She has no DC right now at all, does she? Her ego was nice way tea. too high if she thought she was not touchable. She yeah. didn't really plan on fighting you alone. Um, the fact that you guys already cleared the uh, chapel over there is kind of her um, undoing. That and unionizing the minions. Okay, what? so now oh, it's, it's Joe's down. turn again. Um, <laughs> you know what? He's going to throw out another hold person. Love it. I heard that it's a hold person. He's just throwing people at her. <laughs> um, so <laughs> she got an unnatural 20. So this time it doesn't work. She's looking at it very defiantly, like, and just kind of goes, how dare you? I just wanted dental. It's not that much to ask for. He's not wrong. <laughs> Friedrich. Uh, you know what? I I'm just going to go ahead and cast another grasping arrow because those things are awesome. Um, so I'll throw out the longbow and then the grasping arrow. So that is a nice, healthy, um, 20 damage. I love these arrows. They're so good. 
And um, can we your DC to escape? Um, I'm gonna say has now gone up by two. Um, at this point, because she's on such low health, should we try to like reason and speak with her? I know she's like you could try that. Yeah, no a bad person but should we like i'm not totally sure of the law here is there something that she has that we want uh that we couldn't achieve without her dead um you could ask her to surrender and let you into the vault and give them their union just kill her and take her a key <laughs> but she also has a key to the vault and we can let them have the union once she's yeah. dead that yeah, is we, true. We are going to be friends with the, we are friends with his son, and if he's got the throne, he owes us a favor. We get him to unionize. Yeah, I currently trust the son more than I trust her. Like I know mm-hmm. neither one of them are trustworthy, but who's to say she's going to follow through with the union? Like, yeah, it's she and has, she's for basically. sure going to murder these two guys. Actually, you know what? She hasn't betrayed you at every turn. Technically, you guys have betrayed her at every turn. <laughs> yeah, but she's a piece of shit. Um, Sorry, we watched a kill our own son. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, they're coming. That's dark. All right, Friedrich, it uh, is uh, your choice whether you want to try and reason with her or move on. I'm pretty sure if we get round to Phelan, Phelan is going to murder her. Yes. Murder. I- I'm going to walk up to her and say, hey. We can make this nice and quick, or we can really draw this out. Oh. You hand over the key. We'll make it quick for you. <laughs> There's no option to live. <laughs> Just mercy. <laughs> Would you like something quick and painless or something long and painful? She takes out the key and tosses it to the floor. Phelan, chop her head off. (laughs) Try to stab neck and... All right, roll it. (laughs) Actually, no, because she's giving up, I'm giving you an auto crit on this. So however you want her to die. So we'll do that. You take the trident... You stab it into her neck. There's awful gurgling sounds for a moment before you rip it. The prong that you stabbed in cuts one part of the neck, and the prong that was next to it chops the next part of the neck, and her head rolls to the floor. So I don't even need to roll? We're just <laughs> no, it's, <laughs> just, it's, a, it's a coup de grace. It's, uh, she had surrendered and was ready to die and was uh, wrapped up in vines. Um... She wasn't going to try and dodge. Gotcha. She wanted you to kill her. Quickly. (laughs) Quickly. I mean, it was quick. (laughs) Argo, I don't know if... uh, I don't know. I don't want to kink shame you here, but I did not find that a very kinky way to go, and I'm into some weird shit. (laughs) (laughs) That got weird. (laughs) I just checked the chat, so now I know. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna be. I was like, Wait, otherwise that came out of nowhere. <laughs> That's so good. Uh, Jenny with the same. What would your girlfriend think if she witnessed that? You know what? Living in Baldur's Gate, she's seen so many more violent things, like <laughs> on and day to day. Okay, pretty so- tame. At this point, you have the key to the vault. You convince the cultists that they're going to unionize and that they're going to work under the new duke. Um, Freddy just immediately is like, are you guys going to eat that face? All yours, friends. <laughs> okay, so he picks up the, the dismembered head and he, he starts going to town. He's, uh, he's having a healthy meal right now. Maybe we should leave Joe and Freddy to their snack and uh, go check out that ball. <laughs> Joe's like, ah, I- I've never been much into the face eating. Plus, uh, I prefer them cooked. Raw face is just gross. Joe, I knew you were <laughs> my favorite. 
<laughs> Bonus points uh, to anyone then... who got that reference. I did not get that reference. Uh, I felt sad about it. Uncultured. Okay. Um, what, llamas what is with that? hats is the answer. Llamas with hats. Yes. Oh. No, I have not seen this. What? I've seen all of it. It, can, it, it goes so... It's weird to say it goes dark at the end, considering what the series is, but it goes dark at the end. Wait, what okay. show are we talking about? Llamas with Llamas. hats. Llamas with hats. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It gets Oh, yeah, now so I remember that. Yeah, now I remember. I'm sorry, I thought they'd be cooked more. Raw face is just gross. Hey, yo, mister. Oh, my goodness, ninja. Hello, handsome boy. Everything must stop. We have a tabaxi rogue in the party. Hello, ninja. What a handsome boy. What a frozen handsome boy. Handsome boy. Handsome boy. Handsome boy. Handsome handsome place boy. to freeze. Did you if we the could just yeah. see his little chit tum 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 <laughs> back. <laughs> I'm back with tum tum. I love how Trina is the most excited person about cats, but she's also the most deathly allergic to cats. <laughs> yes, but I'm getting shots now. <laughs> I have a pretty of mild cat. cat allergy. Yeah. I love him. Way. Look at his chumbo chicos. What a handsome boy. I need a cat. I know. So yes, as, you do. As we're in a downtime moment, I'm going to take a quick reminder that exclamation mark donate. In fact, I'll pop it in the chat. Do we it. are raising money for the Trevor Project. If we hit $100 this month, We'll give away a copy of this campaign on Roll20. If we hit 150 today, I'm also giving away um, the Play With Pride Humble Bundle, which includes um, Monster Prom, Monster Camp, Coffee Talk, and a couple of other choice. Oh my goodness. What a boy. I know. <laughs> what a boy. Look at him. <laughs> And a couple others. Oh my goodness, what a boy. <laughs> I don't I don't remember the other games that are on there. I just saw Monster Pro, Monster Camp, and I'm like, I'm getting this. <laughs> the vibe. <laughs> okay, so you what guys a... now have the vault boy. key. So you can enter the vault if you choose. Y'all wanna go get some? Uh, well goodies? I guess we should go and check out the vault and yeah, see what's in there. Oh, is Alexi okay. in there? Not currently. Is Alexi's ghost Alexi's over in the, the gold? bag of holding. Ooh. Alexi's in the bag of holding. Um, so as you walk away, you hear the grossest sounds of them just eating faces. Or eating a face, I what? suppose. Um, so who wants to be the one to open the door? This is not one you can creak open. This is an open-close type situation. I got the key. I guess I'll do it. Okay. You open the door. There is a lot of cool treasure in here, but there's also a dude. Let me tell you about the dude. Don't worry, he's not an enemy at the moment. At the moment? I remember everything with this dude. <laughs> he's like dude. one of the least knowing us. Likely to attack you. Yeah, I, I don't think that's going to stop us from Probably pissing him off. We've just got a really strong energy. We we come on pretty strong as a group. The guy being a dude. <laughs> yeah, so as soon as he sees you guys, um he basically starts making like he's been trapped down here. He's just been trying to retrieve the shield on the wall behind him. You know, it's important to saving Eltruel, and I just, uh... I need to do it. And I have to immediately distract from what's going on here. The moment he even mentions the shield, the shield kind of rattles. It starts to fall from the wall. And then there is a burst of flames. And then standing here, with the shield, is Alexi, wearing no clothes. Um, <laughs> I say at least when he first appears, there is, the shield is strategically placed to, uh, 
keep his decency. <laughs> Is um, that Aridin, Aridin throws him her cultist cloak and yes. says, for your modesty, Alexi. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, it's a bit drafty down here. So this guy... I, I'm also Being going to show you guys an image of the shields. So, sorry, one more moment, and then we can get yeah. to what we're doing with the dude here. Shield. All good. Okay. Shield. I saw an opportunity to make that joke, and I <laughs> absolutely took it. Good. Oh, I can't show you the image without showing you everything, and I don't want to do that, so I'm just going to... I have the image. I can send it in the chat. Yeah, I would greatly appreciate it if you could do that. Just put it into the Discord. Yep. Discord. Where's Discord? Here's Discord. Um, which one? Lore resources. Eggs. Lore resources. It is in the lore resources. Ooh, that's a nice shield. Him Heck angry. Yeah. Ooh. Him have a face. Him have a face. That is a phase. And as soon as as soon as Alexi shows up, this guy who's here is just like, <laughs> "What is going on?" <laughs> <laughs> Look, your guess is as good as mine. To be honest, I thought he was in the bag the whole time, so uh, I'm real confused. Wait, you guys put is... me in a bag? Okay, is he still you were in kind the bag? of in pieces, so we um, wanted to oh. keep you with us. <laughs> who has the bag of holding? Claudia does. Oh, wait, Claudia. Claudia. Oh, Claudia. I thought Claudia okay, so held the bag. Go up to Claudia. You reach into the bag of holding, and you kind of pull out some of Alexi's, just like one of his bit of, uh, bit of equipment, and it's just covered in soot now. Oh. Oh. Fire. I guess we should throw him his equipment as well, and just be like, dude, here's your stuff. Um, as you're starting to throw his equipment, the, the guy in the vault just kind of asks, can I leave? I just, I just want to leave. I, I Whatever's just going on check. here, I, I could be done with it. Just before we let him you leave, I want to ask him, uh, how, um, how'd you come to be in this vault, bud? No, how did you come to be in this the vault? The needed sir? someone to protect her, her treasure, and I guess she thought I was good for that. I'm not a fighter, though. I hate it. And are you, what pretense did she to... did she did she lock you in here well, as a prisoner? Well, she knows that I know a thing or two about magical items. She wanted me to figure out that shield, and I thought I was making progress, but now I don't know what the hell's going on. What do you mean making progress? What do you, do you know you about this shield? Knowledge before I let you run off, we did grant you your freedom. Uh, what else do you know about anything in this vault? Could you point us in the direction of anything particularly interesting? Uh, down to the east, there's a dungeon with a few more prisoners in there. You might want to check that out. Hell yeah, brother. Anything cool okay. here? Okay, fair enough. Anything Do we trust him? Do we all trust him? Oh, you yeah, I'm going to give him like, the good news. I know news the Duke was a bad character. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I feel like this guy just needs a break. He's very confused yeah. right now. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'll, I'll be honest with you guys. News? He's a bad guy, but he ultimately, if you let him go, is harmless, so... Hmm. Before Especially I let him go, if can you I take away his shield. intentions when he leaves? I mean, if we unionize... His intentions are just to leave. He, he wants to, like, him. go live a semi-normal life now, because, like... What do you know about this here shield, bud? <laughs> well, I know it's conscious... It. Yeah, Every, and everybody now hears so a whispering Canadian. voice in their head. Hey, how's it going? Uh, Hi, shield friend. How are you doing? Why? Oh, no, not too bad. Is a thing of metal talking to me? Especially if it's not a fork. What's even the point? Well, I've got my friend Alexi here, and um, he's going to be my new bearer. <laughs> and uh, we have a little mission a to do to save the world. Okay, do you have any sentient fork friends? No, do but I can, I can ask around. Okay, oh, that'd be better. great. Wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. We made I, a deal. I'm all for talking items, you know, talking shields, super cool, probably really handy. Uh, but first question, how did you get our friend Alexi from the bag to behind you? 
Oh, <laughs> gosh, is here. I, uh, Good question. I know a little bit of magic. You know, I can get people out of tight spots. Second question. Um, what else do you do aside from, you know, sew our friends back together and teleport them out of bags? Uh, <laughs> that's, that's for Alexi to know and you to find out. Alexi, what happened? Well, you hey. see. Don't tell them too much. You know, I want them to be surprised. Tell us everything. I want them to be surprised. <laughs> oh, that's, you see, that's guys, so well, this, this, nice, this nice voice came along and offered me a deal to get me back to you guys, so I took it. And now I'm back. It's a good deal. You, you win. To... What was the deal? deal? I come back to life. A for in exchange and... for what? We get to hang out. And okay, no, adventure. that's not a deal. <laughs> We go on an adventure together. What does Unless she's gonna carry me around, we're gonna go some places. Yeah. Alexi, Why do I feel dumbass? like Alexi's not really Alexi? I feel like Ale Alexi okay. is like Alexi, Alexi is Alexi really is Alexi. Alexi. <laughs> I, yeah. No, I get that Alexi is Alexi, but I feel like he's gonna be very heavily influenced by this shield, kind of like in Spider Man Two when Peter Parker <laughs> has the Venom. That's Spider, Spider, Spider Man Three. three? Oh, Spider-Man 3, sorry. Yeah, get it right. Oh, the iconic sorry. scene. This is the best dance scene ever put in a movie. <laughs> it, legit, that's fair. Incredible cinema. Oh my goodness. It should have won, like, seven Oscars. <laughs> well, I don't even think I finished Spider-Man 3 because I was very young and I just got very confused and stopped watching. <laughs> I think I saw it in theaters. Oh, you did? I paid huh. good money. Same. Well, <laughs> it's a youth. As you good guys money all know, what? the shield is Spider telepathic. Oh, yeah, we're talking about Maybe Spider we should have eased into that one. <laughs> Surprise! So, um... Oh, I want to try a weird... <laughs> not a weird... I just want to see what happens. Hey, Empathy, can you hear this shield thing, too? <laughs> when you're in my head. Uh, no, I, I needed to know what's talking to me. Hey, hey, oh. shield guy, shield guy, what's up? <laughs> hey, shield guy, meet empathy. Can you say hi? Hi, empathy. <laughs> yeah. What is my cat's, what's my cat's reaction to this shield? <laughs> <laughs> Which cat are we talking about? You mean about? your blood-covered cat that's currently <laughs> back with Joe eating the Duke's face? Not Claudia, our other cat friend Slobber that chops. can sense Slobber magic. Chops. Slobber, Slobber, chops. Slobber Chops. Slobber Chops. The sweet one. Um, doesn't seem to have any um particular reaction to the shield. <laughs> None of us trust it. Oh, oh, he's a good guy. He brought me back to life at least. He Go he on. revived one of your friends. Yeah. And this is yeah. how you I, thank him. I, I guess no. we should have a look around yeah. the rest of the vault and see what else is We're here. We're happy Alexi's back, but Alexi can sometimes be a little stupid. Impulsive. And we're just checking if he, uh, his he deal involved anything stupid. No, just adventure time with the shield buddy. With all of you. I only wanted him to it's go where you're fun. already going. Yeah, we're on an adventure. And where's that? To you? I don't know. Where are we going, guys? I believe you're going to save Eltruel. And I can help. Uh-huh, and why do you want to help? To save Eltruel? Because people are suffering? Like, what What do you want from me? Why don't, why so, don't you want to help? I'm why just wouldn't wondering. I want to help? What's wrong with you? I'm just wondering if you have some weird intentions going on that you're not telling us. Wait, does the shield have a name? Like, what should we call it if it's <laughs> going to be talking to us? Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, you can call me Hidden Lord. Okay, we need something that's a little shorter, please. Henry! Okay, Henry I, it I is. I guess Henry Sword is looking. fine. Henry's solid. Your name is Henry now. We're we just rename everything. 
I was like, that is way too much work to say every time, please. He's super <laughs> full name, we just called him Miss V. Like, you know, this is kind of our thing. Okay, are you guys ready for all the treasure you're going to get? I need a note taker to note all of this. Emily. Emily, you're up. <laughs> <laughs> Already has the notebook. Immediately. So to bonk the I'm shield. Already, I'm, I'm always ready shield. for loot. <laughs> Why would you bonk my shield? I'm the bonker. Um, so there are 30 Electrum ingots, which are equivalent to 10 gold pieces each. Ooh. There is another 300 gold. 300? Yeah. Okay. There is a curved ivory blade with draconic runes. Aridin, you can read it. They say, Ooh. Fang. It has a bone hilt wrapped with leather strips. And studded with gemstones. Cool, cool. There is also a broken ceremonial dagger. Broken ceremonial dagger. Okay. Also, there's like eight chests in here. I'm assuming you guys are looting them all because you have a bag of holding. Yes. Two hundred platinum pieces. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> and there. Are Lots of pee pee. And there's 80, no, sorry, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20 <laughs> Azurite gemstones. They are worth 10 gold each. Are so assuming Azurite you take all magic? these things for gold value, not including the daggers, you're looking at a solid what, 600. Uh, 800 gold? And then 200 platinum. And platinum's worth, what, 10 gold, right? Mm -hmm. Money math. Platinum. Oh, it's worth 10 gold, down. so that is 200 platinum is 2,000 gold. Whoa. All right, so we got a little... Uh, you guys like got some money. We got, we got some monies. Some cash. Now, we can't go selling my friend Henry here, okay? That's oh a no-no. I totally forgot to uh, move this. The uh, viewer screen. <laughs> <laughs> she is back. Welcome. The space-time has restored itself. We're all back where we should be. I no longer have to share my throne with Anthony. <laughs> Okie dokie. So, we were going to continue exploring with Alexi freshly alive. Um, you were told where there is a dungeon, and it is further to the east. What about those prisoners? I think they were in the dungeon. Oh, okay. Yes. I thought we had more dungeon. Okay. Okay. I want to free prisoners. All right. Well, I guess since you're alive again, we should, um, you know, let you have oh! this one. Did you guys find anything for me to have? I'm I'm going very... to assume they gave you the bonk stick. The bonk stick! Yeah. Yeah. I'm just a little confused on how you heard the shield if you were dead. Well, you just said hi to me. I don't know. You're just hanging out. Like, said did you hi. have any conscious thoughts before shield said hi to you? I just walking along. Oh, it's you know. um, walking where? It is fully known within this setting that there is an afterlife where you are conscious. Oh. Everyone okay, would know okay, about okay. it. And it's not uncommon to be offered deals by entities when you're in the first stage of the afterlife it's who offers was, you the was deal? alexi in the good place <laughs> so everybody goes to a neutral place first okay medium the medium place cincinnati medium <laughs> everyone goes to cincinnati <laughs> We keep getting references to the good place, but no one has played my Jason Mendoza concept yet. Oh my goodness. I'm 
think think of his line about Molotov cocktails. Every time I had a problem, I just throw a Molotov cocktail and then boom. Now I have a different a problem. Different problem. Replace it with fireball. <laughs> I cast fireball and boom. Now I have a different problem. I love it. I collapse the ceiling and boom, we have a different problem. <laughs> we have a new problem. So uh how was uh, the neutral place? Was there like froyo like No, just, you know, some finger sandwiches at a table. Were they People at least just... like cream cheese and cucumber? I got one with salmon, but I I'm sure you could look around and find something to your liking. Okay. Just hanging out. It was weird. I was kind of bored. And then I realized you Did guys you probably needed fish? help cuz <laughs> Yeah. I said cream cheese and cucumber. Well, I ate fish. No, but do you eat Oh, so you eat me? Yeah. For fun. Aileen, you are not a fish. No, you're hey, not. But, <laughs> but do you eat... But does family eat fish? I'm friends with fish. Why would I eat fish? I, Great question. I mean, you'd have really easy access to them underwater. That's all I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, what else would you eat? Algae! How do you get protein? Algae's on anyway, the surface. This is the conversation that's happening while we're walking to the dungeon. <laughs> we're just catching up. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Is that supposed to be closed? I'm gonna back up. Is what supposed to be closed? There's an area over here. To our east. Where Claudia um, is. There's the area where the cult that's... fanatics were eating faces. Um, oh, actually, okay. at this point, Joe has gone elsewhere. So... So I didn't have access to the map the whole time, so yeah. I don't know where so you we can, are. So you can, you can keep going this way. It's safe. Okay. I was going to say, someone else lead. I don't know how I got here. I'm just here. Uh, down this hallway that you see here, Alexi, that is a dead end. How dare you. Ooh, this is a long-ass hallway. Wait, I think I might have cut out. Did we free? Prisoners? We have not we're gone going, to the prisoners yet. We're going okay. to the prisoners, hopefully. All right. And Alexia is alive. That's me. I got that part. There's no doorways around here. Just kind of meandering. Ooh. Well, what's 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 this? Their heating bill must be through the roof with the lack of doorways in here. Thank you for noticing, Aridin, that there is in fact a doorway there. Okay, I wasn't sure. Ah, I'm just gonna quickly move the viewer screen. How dare you? No, they they see nothing. Well, they were just very zoomed out. Okay, so there is a door here. Let me see if it's locked or what. Hopefully, or what? what? I vote what. Wait, personally. How does one see this door? You have it, to believe it in, it. in, but you just need to believe in it. Need to believe. Yeah. Uh, where, where did you, you go? Right? Oh, you're like all the way back here. Come, come hither. I know. I couldn't really move. I was using my iPad just to try and keep my computer from being too ah uh, fair taxed. But I, I couldn't. I could move the map, but I couldn't move my marker. Oh, there you are. Hello. I'm here now. <laughs> okay, it does what? not say that the door is the locked, so the door is unlocked. Let's go. Can we hear anything on the other side? Um, you kind of hear some light sobbing. Wait, this is where the other prisoners are, isn't it? It must be. It must be. Should we knock first? This if they're crying, they might need a moment. <laughs> uh, I'm going okay to let Panda peek part? through the door. Aiky breaky pen here. Aiky breaky sneak peek. My sword. You want to open it wider? I not see a single thing <laughs> through there, so I guess so. Okay, roll a sleight. When have we uh, ever been cautious? Roll a sleight of hand check. Oh gosh. That doesn't bode well. Okay, so we're going to give you like a lot of space. But unfortunately, your perspective is not very good, but nobody's noticed you opening the door yet. 
Hmm. Should we throw right. in slobber puss and see what happens? <laughs> I did just realize, hang on, I realized one of the reasons you can't see anything is because these cells, which are supposed to have bars you can see through, got a dynamic lighting layer, so I'm going to open those up so that you can see. Oh, yo. Oh, so it's cells inside, so we should be okay to enter. There do be prisoners. Would there be a guard? Should I go first? There may be a guard. Yo, let's let Henry take the... <laughs> <laughs> Me and Henry. We'll be letting Henry take the lead for. for I just a while. went in. We gotta build some trust with him. Panda just went in. Okay. Well, do you see the angry bearded thing over there? Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that is a demon. That is also sorry, a devil, a bearded devil. That is also the guard of this prison. Um. Great. There's no surprise, but he hasn't surprised you. You haven't surprised him. We're in initiative order again because he's ready to. I need to roll. Down. Why does he want to fight us? Yeah, can we tell him that, like, the Duke is dead and that um, we're the captain now until the new Duke comes about? I'd also like to ask um, empathy. Here's the thing. Aridin took demon. off her cult cloak. So you can try and make a persuasion. You're going to have disadvantage. Say that you are, in fact... Sorry. The new people in charge. Yeah, I can get out of here. Alright, I don't imagine this is going to go well, because I only have one persuasion, but... Ooh! Yeah, never mind. A natural oh, one. Oh, man. Just rest in peace. Uh -oh. Yeah. Um, you can, in fact, start fighting, though. Anthony. My parents are having someone clean the house. We have guests coming, so. Gotcha. I don't think I have a Uh oh, one. everyone's in the wrong spot now. Uh -oh. Yes! Uh -oh. we, we well, how do you enjoy your newfound power, Panda? Uh -oh. I feel like a king. Really? It was hailing, it was raining, it got windy. Anthony, mute yourself or I'll mute you. Apparently it was hailing. <laughs> yeah, I've had some pretty odd weather lately, honestly. Yeah. All right, I'm going to use yeah, this as an opportunity to take us on a quick break. I'll put us in the be right back. <laughs> okay. I'll go use the washroom and such. Anybody else needs a break for something. It seems like a good time to uh, chaotically leave. So, okay. Burb. We'll be right back. Burb. We are back. Hello, right everyone. Places. Friedrich is not giving us a weather report. And uh, we're about to that. fight a prison guard. Um, right. Who all steps directly in and who stays a little bit back? I'm in for a tussle. Uh, um, I have higher health, so I'll stay. just got resurrected. Please don't die again, Alexi. But I have Henry Alexi's going to have a hard time dying again. <laughs> Henry is actually quite good at protecting people. Tried. Uh, I'm gonna stay back because I don't really need to get into the tussle. I can, I shoot arrows unless they need a meat shield. Yeah, somehow I've turned into a meat shield because I have had the highest health aside from Alexi, so I don't know how that happened. But so uh, empathy is gonna talk to you guys, uh, give you a little lowdown. All right, so this guy, unlike the last guy. He's not quite as hard. He's not quite as hard a murderer, but he is still really hard to damage with a lot of the same stuff. So you're going to want to use... Let's use the bonk stick. <laughs> you're going to want to use that new magic bonk stick. Wait, does anyone want the curved sword and have the curved sword or know what it does? Right now, it yeah, just acts as a do? dagger. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. The, what damage does it do? Or is it just regular dagger regular damage? Dagger. So like 1d8. Regular dagger. Uh, and also, are we... Because I have a stat block. I have a, I have a thing. Are we going to bring our NPC friend into this battle? She should maybe be in here no. for this. The meat 
the meat duo. Yeah, she can at least take some damage on our behalf. That's the least she yeah, can Yeah, we'll do. let her charge in, though she's starting to think you guys are morally questionable, but... Well, we I mean, some of us are moral and some of us are questionable. Was it perhaps Trina spearing off the head of the duke? It's more the fact that you let the cultists eat her face. And we let them unionize. They it. They did earn it. I mean, that was one of the reunion requests. I feel like we formed the union. We can't really turn them down for that. Yeah. If if the new duke wants to negotiate face eating, that's on him. Great. We're just the intermediaries here. Yeah. Okay, just so. The... Panda's first. I'm sorry I'm interrupting you guys. All good. Panda. Um, well, I, I'm i pretty sure both slashing and piercing aren't going to do all that much. Um, but I guess we'll give her a go. Of course. Zero damage. Yeah. That's going to be no damage at all. I think maybe my would be best used in this battle by exiting the room and healing from afar. All right. That means Friedrich is up next. Oh, my goodness. Uh, so, wait, what did Panda just do? Was that slashing damage? Panda did no damage. Panda missed. What did Panda try to do? Tried to use a longbow. Yeah, and I also only rolled a 7, so... Likely oh, okay. all physical damage, fire, and... What else? Physical fire, poison. poison I'm saying that because you guys effective. knew that from last time. Yeah. Cold is not very effective. Fire and poison do nothing. Anything non-magical is less effective. Okay, I don't really have anything... I don't have any magical attacks at all. The closest I have to a magical attack is a grasping or a seeking arrow. And all that did damage last time was a seeking arrow. <laughs> yes, and um, grasping arrow is not helpful because it is immune to it's, poison, which is poison your main damage, damage yeah. there. Yeah. Uh, so I suppose I'm going to use a seeking arrow. <laughs> Death by a thousand cuts round two. <laughs> So I do that, and then Ooh. I do that. Oh wait, no, because oh, you don't have to actually God. shoot it. Yeah, it's like a guaranteed hit. It's a DC saving throw. So you do one force damage? Is that what you did? Uh, so I do four piercing, which probably doesn't Is do that... anything to him. And one force damage. Okay, but oh, he makes a boy. dex save, right? Yeah, he can make a dex save. So he needs to roll an eight. Uh, target must make a dex saving throw. Otherwise, on a failed save, the target takes damage as if it were hit by the arrow plus an extra. Okay. You know what the target save takes, is against? Oh, he takes half the damage if he saves it. Okay, so the th it it is half. Is it half rounded down or rounded up? Because it's one. So okay, he can't. He can't negate one force damage. Um, so he's going to take one force no, damage. No, so you can take pull. but he's piercing damage, right? Um, the piercing damage he is resistant to, so he's taking half. So he's taking half of his half because he saved the throw, right? Uh, no, he's he's taking only half the piercing damage. Because um, that doesn't get halved. It's the force damage that gets halved. If he succeeds oh, okay. on the save. As okay, far as so I can understand. Taking... Yes. So I don't want to harsh on everybody's parade, but um, I did notice that we're all in one big line fighting a demon. Maybe is not smart. Yeah. Oh, actually it should have been, will... been had for both, but I'm gonna I'm gonna just let that let that roll. Well, it doesn't matter. It's four yeah. damage. This guy is not going to notice. He took two damage instead of HP. one, so like it's not a big deal. He has a pretty healthy health bar, not as big as the last guy's. He'll be here for by, the long haul, Jetty. <laughs> by a significant margin. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, um. 
Next I up, may. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I was. Saying, I may just like step. What's the range of my arms? It's thirty feet, right? So the six squares. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that I'm like right on the edge anyway. Now, Friedrich, um, can you show me like what you can see? Just kind of give a couple of the long clicks to show me what is within your view. Uh, uh so I I can see just I have a line of sight to that guy, but that's it. That's all I can see. So nothing there. down below. No. You can't see. How many prisoners in cells can you see? No, I can only see this guy. Okay. Okay, that's uh, not so your enemy, by the way. That's not my enemy? No, he's up here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna maybe one, two, three, take a step in. Ah. You take a step oh. in. Down here, Friedrich? That's your yeah. sister. <laughs> oh, cool. she's, she's the one sitting in the corner sobbing. Oh shit! Yo, we united. We, we actually did something relevant to the plot. That's Wait, a can we can we can we toss them some rocks to throw or something? Can they help God. us out? Um, you can like on your turn, you can like use a bonus action to get some some stuff to fight with. Uh, she does immediately recognize Friedrich, and excitedly yells, "They caught you here!" I'm. Oh god. I swear, if y'all, by y'all, I mean specifically, cat, kill her after this. <laughs> I have no intention of killing off Rosalinda. Okay. I could be so mean, but it'd be so out of character, so I'm not gonna do it. I I'm gonna oh, tell her to stay in the corner and make herself as small as possible and stay as close to the corner as possible. <laughs> Um, the party did something. Because last time we fought anything that took more than one round, uh, Eridan collapsed the ceiling, and the corner <laughs> is the safest spot for her. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Eridan's like, I'm not gonna collapse the ceiling again! <laughs> I'll be honest, y'all, I can't even do that again. I've, I've had a long day, okay? <laughs> But yeah, you don't have any magic points left. Oh no. Yeah, I've got oh, one spell so slot screwed. and it's not the level of that spell, so Um So Friedrich, after seeing Rosalinda and telling her to, you know, stay back where it's safe, um What are you going to do next? Didn't you attack? You've used your attack for this turn. But you still have yeah, movement bonus I, action. That's what I'm just thinking. I obviously like we're in the heat of battle. I can't really dedicate time to searching around for the lock or the key. You're seeing if the doors open. Um, Do you only have the one ranged weapon, Anthony? Can you toss a ranged weapon their way if you have an extra one? I have a rapier and a dagger. So I can drop something in there, but I don't want her to get into a fight, and I don't want her to have a weapon in her hands, because that just makes her a target. Um... <laughs> I don't like the lap. Makes me nervous. Oh, it's completely okay. unrelated to the current um, combat. I told oh, you I was just... starting to make personalized plans for you guys. <laughs> Friedrich made it easy because he has a whole ass backstory. I I'm mean, sorry. So do I, technically. You just gotta like read Yours is the, the one movie. that's hard to hook in. <laughs> My character <laughs> is. Aridin has a whole My ass backstory. My character is that mysterious. Yeah. Oh, there's three prisoners. Oh. Yeah, I realized there was still more of the lighting walls for me to get rid of. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if there's anything that I should do at this point. I've told her to stay in a safe spot. I've told her to get out of the way. Um, I'm going to say that I probably just try and meet shield her as much as possible. <laughs> okay, that's going to bring us around to Alexi. Yeah! You've got some options now. Um, 
Most of them I don't suggest. I mostly suggest you use the glowy bonk stick. That's why I was laughing. Because <laughs> you could ruin this day for everybody. I terribly debated that. <laughs> What does the we, glowy bonk stick do? No, it's nothing to do with it. <laughs> Remember, too, that this thing is immune to fire damage, so you could I literally know. kill everybody but leave the enemy alive. I know. Uh, anyway, glowy do bonk that. stick time. I'm fire now. Okay. Um, what's it called? Is it just my mall, or how do we do this? Um, oh, hang on. Mall plus one? Or I, I can know. just... I think we put I... it onto your character sheet, yeah. It's, um, it's, that, a it's a mall, mall plus one. There. No, that's just mall. I can add a mall plus one. It's 2d6 Here. plus three bludgeon. Let me just... Oh, okay, you it's do that. Mace. I will stop touching it. I don't know, mace, mall. It's all the same. Only the names will change. I'll have to redraw Alexi, but just with like 30 weapons. <gasps> I'm the weapons. Okay, your mall should now roll as a plus one. Oh, you renamed it. I'm watching it in real time. Cool. Okay, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> oh, a ten. Yeah, that is not going to hit. <laughs> Aww. We finally have someone who can do damage and he misses. Usually I crit. Oh, have you have we edited your character sheet to reflect your new AC though? I will do that. I'll take care of that. You should have an AC of fourteen now. Fourteen? Because you're holding a shield. Oh, oh, the sh never mind. I that's the shield's AC. Okay. Anything else from Alexi? There we go. You could toss out an action surge. Like you basically have the benefits of a long rest because you were dead. <laughs> Because I was dead! So you could toss out an action surge. You I can, wanna, like... I want to bonk again. Go Give me the bonk! Bonk! Because, like, I'll be honest, there's not much more fighting to do here. Oh! <laughs> okay. Oh! Shit! shit. <laughs> there's the bonk I was looking Good for. Good Alexi. Good Alexi. So 24 bonk. magic damage. <laughs> Please move the health bar. You just... Just a little bit. Crack this guy across his jaw. <laughs> the beard wobblies are going blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and he's looking dazed. Crack. Or at least the cracking. With oh, right that, ahead. we are going to move to Phelan. I think, yeah, we gotta use the magic, so I, maybe I'll do some vicious mockery. <laughs> um yeah okay so he's gonna try and make the wisdom save he's not very good at that uh yeah he failed the wisdom <laughs> save so he's taking the <laughs> one psychic damage <laughs> okay We're well team i said that i am sick when i do look on the <laughs> Yes, I have Shakespearean insults on my phone right now. <laughs> okay, our Year to Devil is ready to go. I want to give Alexi a break, but Alexi, you also just <laughs> cut this guy I up. I just can custom. Um, so as the beard kind of like goes, blah, 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 you just see him kind of suddenly turn and whip the beard back at you. He's trying to hit you with his beard. And that is a miss. Let's go. Um, he also has a glaive. Yeah, glaive, He's buddy! He's gonna try and stab you with... I'm, I'm glad you're excited for him stabbing you with the glaive and dealing 11 damage. Oh, that's less Ooh. fun! That's a lot of damage. Oh, hang on. We can't die again. Exactly. Must succeed on a DC 12 constitution saving throw. Con? Make a con save. Oh. No. You failed. Um, <laughs> you have a wound on you that is now starting to glow. Nice. And burn with infernal energy. Oh, that's less fun. Hey, Henry, oh. what is this? 
Not good, dumbass. <laughs> Henry, help! Henry's like, ah, oh, yeah, this, oh, yeah, this is bad. Hang on. <laughs> um, I think Henry might use his ability. Oh, he has an ability. Henry, Henry has, has an, an ability? ability that he can use. It's not your ability. It is his. Henry has an ability. I like how we've still kind of picked up another NPC character with this shield. <laughs> Henry. A little bit. I also like how now that Alexi has died and come back to life. Oh, we're all actually, just... his ability yeah, will not me. work on the bearded okay. devil, unfortunately. Oh, that no. Is... We'll make it work. Are there any, oh, like, actually, poison no, no, cures could, in could, our... It could, it could, oh. it could. I was wrong. <laughs> um, okay, so... The suspense of not knowing what you're rolling for or why is terrifying. <sighs> so, he has to make a wisdom save. Pog. He failed. He's now oh, frightened, no. so he's going to use his full <laughs> movement... Even though he's invoking attacks of opportunity. Well, let's start uh, with couple. those. Roll your attack of opportunity, Alexi. Do I roll it with the mall or how yeah. does it work? Okay. <laughs> that works. I mean it definitely hits. It's not the most damage, but it definitely hits. <laughs> At least we're hitting. Yeah. And then um our friend whose name I've honestly forgotten. Our friend who never hits anything. Um what I is her name? I, I would what have to go back to a different chapter to remember. I, 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 I need to start writing shit down more. Time. But um, she's gonna be Raya. also Raya. 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 Also Notes. going to be making an attack of opportunity. What? Hey, she actually hit something, though the damage is halved. <laughs> well, she's improving. Yeah. A big improvement. Um, and he runs, and he actually locks himself in this cell. <laughs> One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Man, <laughs> I love being able to do stuff as Henry. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. I'm counting. Wait, did Henry? Did Henry lock Alexi in the cell, or did he just? No, Henry eat scared himself in... scared away the bearded devil. Yeah. Um, oh, it's a neat party trick. And yeah, Apparently. it ran. Whoa. It's now Aridin's turn. Plus Sorry, what was well, that, Friedrich? I feel safe with it. Me, shield number two. Oh, I think our connection's. Right. Friedrich, what did you say? I said, is that the bearded devil in the top left corner now? That is yes. the devil in the top left corner, yes. He ran as I far away as he could him. get from Alexi because he's now frightened of the shield. Henry! Nice. Wait, so would he just like to turn himself in? Um, he unfortunately, he isn't able to surrender. Oh. Only die. <laughs> um, quick thing, I can't get in the room. You can't I can't make my token. You've been fired it's not from moving. There you go. Oh, I've moved there you I in. am. Thank Welcome. you. So this 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 friend is our. This is your buddy? enemy. That's Top up my here. Demon buddy. Okay. Um. Well, now that he's in a cell by himself, um. I'll use color spray because that's my last <laughs> thing. Except it didn't. I clicked it and it did nothing, so I will click it somewhere else. Pick. There it is. For description. Picked. So, um, basically, it will blind him. I keep forgetting to add the part that says that into my thing. Shapes and colors. Shapes and colors. Shapes and colors. It's just <laughs> like what? rave lights, because she's a party sorcerer. <laughs> Oh, it actually doesn't... I don't know why it says spell save, because it's not a spell save. Can you roll the 60-10? Yes. I Thanks also D10. don't know why. A lot of hit points. I have to fix my thing. Uh, six, sorry, 
Yeah. Yeah. Not 10d6. That would be <laughs> okay, so he's blind now, and um, you've, you've made a devil be absolutely terrified and blinded in the corner. <laughs> he just kind of curls up into a ball. He's like, just kill me now! Does this mean that we auto-crit the next hit? Yes. Um, it would <laughs> be Rhea's turn, but I'm going to let a player character do this. I'm going to give it... Um, I'm going to give it to Panda by initiative, but if you guys think there's someone more deserving for this coup de gras, give it to whoever you want. You got Henry. it, Panda. Henry, on, consume! Panda. <laughs> no. Henry can to consume. Wait, where, where's, where's, where's Freddy? <laughs> Where's, Where's Freddy? Friend? We got a face for you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> no, devil face Wait, is way too So I too just chewy. need to click the initiative button? No, 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 no. Um, no, no. No. You get to do the final two coup de gras against this devil. You get to describe how you're going to kill him because he is blind, frightened, and surrendering. But he can't really <laughs> surrender. He has to die. Uh oh. Murder. I think it's cutting out. Maybe give it to someone else. We'll give it to someone else. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Alexi, you were killed by a, f uh, a devil. Do a you want to take this? A little bit. All right. <laughs> Alexi, I think Alexi could take it if there's no objections. Okay. No, no go for it, Alexi. Awesome. So obviously Wait. we bust through the door because it's locked. <laughs> and I did not need an initiative roll. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so i have henry on my back because henry is obviously not going to be part of this because it's my moment my time to shine okay so i grab my myriad of ma i want to take my maul in one hand my glaive in the other and grab a hand i think i have hand axes last time I checked. <laughs> how many hands do you have well i have a mouth so I'm going to grab the hand axe handle in my mouth. I'm going to take all three and just like dive on this guy and just. <laughs> so everyone who's in the room sees a horrifying display of violence. There's yeah! bones breaking. There's blood. Wait, what about There's Alexi? little pieces coming off. Alexi's just going to town. Um, you think. <laughs> A couple times. Stop, stop, he's already dead! <laughs> but he doesn't stop until there's a pile of mush that turns into a pile of ash. Fancy. Rhea is not gonna like that. <laughs> well, listen, The okay. second that Alexi's cycle. done... I was kind of bored. Swinging, <laughs> the second that Alexi's done swinging... I'm gonna run over to the pile of ash and sift through it to find the key to the cells. You do find the cell keys. Uh, Dang it. And I find the cell key. I'm gonna immediately run back to Rosalinda and throw the key into the lock and fling the door open uh, and run in and immediately just like grab her up in a gigantic hug. There is a oh. heartwarming embrace between siblings going on right now. Aww. It's a beautiful yeah. moment. Um, Rhea sheds a little tear. Like, I thought you guys were the worst. But... <laughs> wow. I'm a little <laughs> jealous. Of my at least I've never gotten along. This is really beautiful. And then I'm going to immediately ask. Stuff for you. <laughs> if she's okay, if she's hurt, what happened, how she came to be here. I am just an almost mess of words and questions just how did you get here are you okay are you hurt you bleeding what do they do who did this i will get them <laughs> um she said that she let she was uh kidnapped by the duke sorry i'm not doing this full in character i just was thrown off for a sec um she was kidnapped by the duke um who wanted to bring the same fate she she wanted to bring the same control she took over Baldur's Gate to Neverwinter. She wanted to try and overthrow um, Lord Neverember and take power, and she thought that your family was the key to doing that. So she kidnapped Rosalinda. Fair. 
Good plan. Bad idea. Fair. Good plan. Bad idea. Now, Friedrich thinking, I wish I stabbed her a little harder. <laughs> I wish I'd killed her a little slower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess he did give her the option of the quick death. Yeah. But now those horrifying sounds of face eating bring him so much comfort. <laughs> 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 Maybe just throw in a see Rhea, this is why we had to let the face eating happen. <laughs> for justice. Justice. Yeah. Justice um, for Rosalind. Is she harmed? Is she hurt? Can she walk? Is she She's fine, she's able to walk. She looks pretty well kept overall, other than a little dirty. Um not in very fine or warm clothing, but other than that, uh, she seems okay, unharmed. Okay, yes. uh, I'm gonna take the dagger out of my inventory uh, and pass it to her and say, "You're. we're gonna find a way to get you home to mom and dad right away, but in case anything happens, Strike first, aim to kill. If someone clutches, comes at you, do not fuck around. Kind of clutches the dagger to her chest and nods. I know. I know. Never give a chance. I'm really glad you're okay. <laughs> she's like, she's still crying a little bit. Um, I'm so happy to see you. I guess there are other people in this jail. Yeah, there are. Well, yeah, yes. we're at well, this is happening. Sister isn't the only person, Brigadrick. The... Yeah. <laughs> and so it's like, that's nice. Who are these people? <laughs> yeah, who's this? Top right. Okay, does, does, has Rosalinda made friends? <laughs> Can she My introduce gentleman. us? <laughs> My gentlemanly gentleman up at the top right. Hello. Up at the top right, you have Falister Fisk. Okay. What a name. He is short Very and fat. clean. He's in his 50s. Mighty machine. So what you're saying is he's handsome. <laughs> Oh, oh my, my god. god. In his 50s, so if you like older gentlemen, sure. <laughs> um, I flirt with one person, and y'all label me forever, and then He this was happens. trying to kill us. Every he has dark hair, hair, and his, his goatee <laughs> is actually dyed red. Okay. I mean, Aridin oh, also so flirts with here. everyone. She just yes. hasn't picked anyone up aside from an imp yet. Yeah, I have a girlfriend now, so I clearly... You're settling down. Trina, who I says you need to stop at one, though? Why can't you have just a family? Okay, yes, like... I I don't... Talk about a found family. <laughs> I won't stop any Polyamory anymore. is valid, but fail it is not polyamory. As I say, I won't stop anybody from that again. Uh, yeah, polyamory is all fine here. Yeah. Aridin uses flirting as a tool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, failing gets connect, like, failing gets attached real fast, obviously. But yes, Phelan, Phelan is not only on this, but that is fine, obviously. Okay, uh, so yeah. basically I've, I've told you what you need to know from seeing Falister, um, but if you have any questions for him about who he is, why he's here, you can go ahead and ask. Who are you? Okay. Why are you here? Yeah. What, what <laughs> are you here, friend? Sorry for that scene, I was a little stir-crazy from being dead. <laughs> Have a long day. <laughs> That's the least of it. Uh, but yeah, no, I, I ask why he's in here. I work for a sage of Candlekeep, and I was investigating 
some of the goings on here, and I got captured. Can I tell if he's lying? <laughs> you can roll an insight check. I would like to know. Okay. Fifteen. That's pretty good. Pretty sure he's telling the truth. Why were you uh, investigating? Just out of curiosity. <laughs> there was a man here who was involved in um I'm sorry there's something I have to double check here I might have fucked up don't worry about my fuck ups <laughs> never I mean I thought we were your fuck ups <laughs> yeah you are <laughs> the five little fuck ups on you an are, adventure you are my lovable fuck ups um <laughs> I'm going to fix something here really quick. Um, hides the entire map. <laughs> hides the entire map, reloads it, we're surrounded by guards. There was a silent alarm that was triggered. No, there's basically something you should have got from the dude who ran away. But I can't actually it. see Demon where dude? you get it. Oh, this is a little naked shield uh, man. Well, I'm naked shield. We, the other while dude. we correct the uh, you're wearing armor. Um, Didn't we give you your stuff back? Yeah, I'm no longer naked shield dude. I was temporarily naked shield dude. Yeah, the his other clothes dude were his ripped clothes. in half. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, he's I'm wearing culty. a cult cloak. Yeah, I'm culty. Um, just uh, real quick, uh, I remember the Duke was wearing a ring when we first showed up. I can't, I don't think it had any magical powers, but I would have liked to take that from her corpse to give her son. Sorry? The dark. Um, I remember when we showed up, the Duke was wearing a ring that I didn't find was magical at all. But yeah. I would have liked to lift that off of her corpse so I can give it to her son. Sure. As a sentimental gesture. <laughs> yeah. There's one thing I didn't understand. It's complicated relationships with your parents. <laughs> and expensive jewelry. Ugh. Oh, oh yes, girl. I mean, have you seen this place? Of course this woman's got fine taste in jewelry. All right, I don't think you should have gotten that item here. So I'm not as worried. Okay. Um, He was following Thavius Krieg here, who was one of the grand overseers of Eltruel. And... He describes him to you, and it's definitely the man that you let go. Um, he oh, believes no. that Thavius was involved in the fall of Altruel. Hmm. Lovely. See, you guys were so suspicious of my shield, and this is what happens. I Hidden mean, Henry would given never that you that. just died and, uh, you know, other ship was going down, he seemed like the least of our concerns. That's fair. Hidden Henry can be a little unsettling to people. A little? It's a yeah. talking shield. Telepathically Do you know talking how shields? many talking shields there are in the world? It's not that uncommon. It's the I've first been one I've met. You must have, uh, had a very sheltered life. Can you see these clothes? Of course I did. <laughs> <laughs> that tracks. <laughs> okay. Um, he's going to go on to say that, uh, if you can return him to Candlekeep, 
particularly if you can find Thavius's puzzle box, which is somewhere else. Um, <laughs> then you can't. He thinks that they can help you find what happened to Eltruel. Okay. Well, I wouldn't mind taking our good friend here into our custody for a little while to help him escape safely. And or we could have continue to monitor sure. Continue to monitor him, put him in the don't put him in the bag of holding, that will kill them. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> like wait a minute. <laughs> I mean, we could have taken the rest of the duke with us. Just left a face behind for the boys, but... For the boys! <laughs> Just sharing a cold face with the boys. <laughs> Crack open a cold face with the boys. <laughs> nah, I think they're like warm faces. Recently deceased. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. You, yeah. Um... As for, I don't know why they gave this miniature for Satir, because Satir's supposed to be a woman. <laughs> um, in her 70s. Oh. I'm, go I'm going to yada yada this, this a little bit. This is perfect. She was a political prisoner for the Vantham Fours to help them gain the power of being Archduke. If she returns to power, she'll help rebalance the Dukes. All right. Um, you don't Seems need like an insight check call. to know that when she says rebalance, she means that her family will end up with more power. But you get the idea that that's like all of the Dukes of Baldur's Gate. What do we know about her? Um, only really that her family is one of the families in control of Baldur's Gate. Um, she would be at odds with the Phantom Poors, and that she would be power hungry, as all the Dukes are. Would she be successful in her hunger for power? That depends entirely on what happens with Eltruel. So really, that depends on you guys. We can leave it down here for now. Well, maybe we should consult with our friend, the Vanthampur son. Yes. The new Duke V. See if we can get some leverage there. I don't know. The prison prison is looks oh pr pretty okay kept. No one's really injured, so Yeah, this isn't a place where they tend to be like this horribly prisoners mistreated or anything like that. Um, it is a fairly low-key prison on the treatment of people. Um, so yeah, your choice whether you guys want to let her out or leave her there. Um, I'm assuming you're taking Falister with you, who is going to suggest you go to Candlekeep. Rhea, for her part, she doesn't really believe that the Grand Overseer betrayed Eltruel, but so long as the goal is saving Eltruel, she's willing to accompany you on this. West. Uh, now I'm just looking to find out where. Does Rhea have any opinions about this other Duke person? Yeah, she would be the person that would know the most about this Duke. Yeah. Um, as far as she's concerned, all of the current Dukes of Baldur's Gate are corrupt and power hungry. What they need is their original Archduke back. Um, and as far as they know, he is trapped in Eltruel. Can we ask for Rhea's opinion on the best solution for the Duke that we're faced with now? She seems like a pretty, you know, lawful good type. Or at least neutral good. Lawful neutral. Do you think lawful neutral? And sorry, what oh, wait, was, Rhea what was the question? The My bad, I dissociated. Um, does Rhea have a suggestion for how we deal with the Duke we're currently faced with? Um, honestly, she thinks that you should let her go, and uh, it will get 
sorted out eventually. Um, hopefully it'll get sorted out through... Um, hopefully it'll get sorted out through you guys saving Eltruel and restoring the Archduke. If not, she thinks you've made a pretty good situation for Amric to take power. But she's not an expert on these things. You gotta remember that her city is kind of a theocracy. Whereas this place is like cutthroat political. I mean, worst comes to worst, we have more dukes trying to squabble amongst each other. <laughs> and two Maybe of them need to owe us a favor. First and see what his That's plans true. Are. Once he takes power. I like having the most friends possible. <laughs> so that we have most friends ends. with power. Yes. It is good to be friends with powerful people. And it's even more useful when they owe you a favor or two. All right. <laughs> um, we're going to go out of the map exploration. Um, you guys can safely get up to... There's not really any more major treasures down here, so you're not missing out on anything. Um, you can safely get back up to the villa to talk to Amric. Um, his suggestion is basically that you let the Duke go. Um, he'll have a talk with her and kind of keep an eye on her to make sure she's not doing anything too funky. Uh, he doesn't think she's a significant threat to him right now. Also good to have Amrick make that call so that maybe it endears him to her a little bit. True. Makes her less likely to, you know, slice his throat to get more power. And um, normally you guys would have explored the villa to find this item, but because of how things went with your little political intrigue, um, Amrick's going to give you an item called the Infernal Puzzle Box. Um, Sounds like a very difficult puzzle. I'm going to give you guys a handout on it, actually. Can Oh, Henry can see, can't he? Now, oh, yes. uh, he gives you that saying it was hidden in Thirstwell's room. The brother that was, you know, blown up by his mother and that he <laughs> thinks it might be important and Ballister is going to mention that he believes uh there is an infernal contract of thavius krieg in that box that's the suspicion they're acting on oh the dude what happens when we take full ownership of this contract like if we manage to open the box and gain this contract what benefit is that to us um you could know basically the details of his contract you could know what exactly he's getting what devil he's serving and if you end up going when you end up going to el Truel, you have the opportunity to either sway or fight the devil he's got a contract with and thus undo a lot of the bad things that were done through that contract, which, as far as you know, includes the fall of El Truel. Interesting. So we should not try to open this box either because this thing does damage. This thing can nearly kill me twice if I fail the same Yes. Throw. Wait, how do you know this? It's in the handout. Oh. Um, but it does Ballister to... Fisk actually suggests oh, that good. taking it to Candlekeep is going to be the best option. So if you take it to Candlekeep, someone there can open it. Can open it? Or they think someone can open they it? They think someone can open it, but... You would you would all be aware of the fact that Candlekeep is one of the greatest repositories of knowledge in the world. Hmm. Okay. It seems like as good a spot as any. 
All I'm saying uh, is that Anthony does get, we all do get one free comeback to life, so we're some <laughs> sort. Yeah. Does, he- does Henry Please also get one free that. comeback to life? Um, question. What are we going to do with uh, Rosalinda now that she's free? Is she joining the party? Is she going to, are we just going to trust that she can make it back home? Um, I would say with the money that you've gotten, you could hire capable people to take her home by ship. And she would be well protected. I'm going to suggest that's a very good option. That's why I suggested it. (laughs) What becomes my motivation to stay with the party? Am I just... Well, now you're invested. In it for a penny and for a pound? (laughs) I, I would say true. in for a penny, That's in for a true, pound. Yeah. Um, you also know that part of what's going on here is why she was kidnapped, right? Because it's like the the, the yeah. sure you dealt with the ground level people who did it, but they're part of a larger conspiracy that has taken an entire city away. Besides, and Freddy, do you trust you... the four of us to save the world without adult supervision? <laughs> We have Henry now! You think I'm adult supervision? Friedrich is not adult supervision. No, Friedrich Henry is, not is also adult. not adult supervision. <laughs> I don't great. think any of the people in this party Empathy could be considered adult, adult, supervision. adult supervision. Like, we shouldn't be allowed to run with scissors. Empathy. Empathy. Now, oh, as, empathy as much maybe. as I don't want you guys dragging people around with you, I'm going to make one suggestion. We're, we're wrapping up, if, if you haven't caught on. Um, mm-hmm. I'm going to make one more suggestion. It's gonna sound it's gonna sound crazy. Take Hannah with you. Who's Hannah? I will yeah, promise her safety. Yeah, if you can promise her safety. I will oh, promise I Hannah's safety if you take her okay. with you. Rosalinda I, I, wants I to go her. home. You could convince <laughs> Rosalinda to stay. She wants to go home. Okay. I want Rosalinda to go home. Yeah, Rosalinda should go home. Yes. And be oh, safe. Almost. How much if, gold is it going to cost can, me to... If you can keep Hannah safe, then yes. I, like, I'm not guarantee... about to bring my girlfriend and then have her die tomorrow, you know? I, I will <laughs> never target her. <laughs> <laughs> if only I was chaotic um, And just like everyone else, she gets one comeback, and if she has to use it, she will then go to where it's safe. Gotcha. Just in case there's something that like really awfully like hits everybody and like, oh, there's no reasonable way to say Hannah survives that. But no, I I, Hannah will be safe. Good. We will not lose Hannah. Oh, one last thing I wanna do before we go is can I take a closer look at Fang, the the draconic dagger and see if it's magical in any kind of way yeah i'm not gonna make you do any type of check for that um it's not a magical dagger it looks more like it's ritualistic to do with the dragon cult the cult of tina mm. okay so we got the crown we got the dagger solid yeah you guys have a lot like if someone found everything in your bag of holding they would think you're cultists of tiamat especially Aridin. um as it stands, though, you're pretty much okay. Um, I'm assuming that everything in our bag of holding is also covered in dust at this point. It's covered in... Alexi dust! Bits, bits of Ale- Alexi dust, yes. Alexi dust. <gasps> yeah. So everything oh, we take out, we just give a quick... Two. <laughs> We've gained a pretty good amount of gold. We should probably go can, shopping. Can I we buy probably go better shopping. armor? <laughs> I think we should all buy better armor. We well, should all buy armor. armor. Will make me louder. But it will also make like, my AC I, I, I will let you do shopping in a moment. Okay. Um, ba, 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 ba. You guys never reported back to Captain Zoj, so we're going to do that bit here. Yeah, um, let's go. You tell him how the Vanthapores were behind all of this. He's a little <laughs> shocked. But. Um, he he thinks that he should be arresting Amric. 
if you choose to convince him otherwise, then he will say that, okay, I guess he's the good one. Yeah, With I'm air gonna, quotes, he's the good one. Him. I'm gonna fight for Amber. <laughs> I would say, you know, he he's the only one that wasn't involved in this criminal he turned on his mom, yeah. underworld, yeah. absolute disruption, kidnapping, power hungry, thirsty attack on your city. Like so thirsty. of the lot, he's the only one that I would trust in any position of power. And of the bunch yeah. we've met, he's the only one I would trust to be in power almost completely, you know? Even the Duke we freed, I would say, keep a close eye on that one, you know? Um, um, but otherwise... So, your meeting with Captain Zoj, it gets interrupted. Um... Bounce? <laughs> <laughs> Bounce? Bounce me? Nothing too bad. It's just another person, so hang on. Don't want to I'm sending you an image. There we go. Go to everyone. Yay! Oh. Hello. Hello. Are you sending this in? It's on the. It's on, on roll twenty. Oh, okay. It's on roll twenty. Uh, so this woman kind of walks up. Definitely looks like she is someone with power and in charge. Um, I'm gonna wait until my face. No, I'll just keep talking like this. <laughs> So is this this crew of misfits that stirred up every nest of rats in this city? Captain Zoe just kind of surprised, like, uh, Commander Porter, I, I didn't know you'd be in Baldur's Gate for at least another day. Yeah, yeah, she says. That's, uh, that's exactly what the Dukes would want you to think. Um... She's going to ensure you got the reward that you were promised. In fact, she's just going to give each of you 100 gold. I don't know what you were promised, but that's what you're getting. You're each getting 100 gold. Um, so she kind of gives you the lowdown on the politics in Baldur's Gate right now. Uh, Liara is technically the proper successor to Archduke Ravenguard. Um, so it really should be her in charge of the city. She still believes he's alive, but in El Truel, which has been dragged into the Nine Hells. And she asks for your aid in rescuing him, which is already kind of your mission. Uh, it would make it a lot easier to deal with the it's not our mission so we can get something out of it? Absolutely, Aridin, make me a persuasion or deception check. <laughs> I mean, it's the same either way, so shit. <laughs> it actually takes very little to convince her, so it was only a DC 10. Okay. Um, it's reasonable if, to assume we don't want to go to hell. <laughs> if you save the Duke, if you bring him back safely to Baldur's Gate... You'll be named as nobles, and you'll be given an estate. Can my estate have a river? <laughs> It'd be nice uh, for you me can too. get a riverfront estate, absolutely. Let's go. Um, be nice. You know, it'd be a nice, nice place for uh, Phelan and Hannah to yeah. settle down. No, I want to fish. <laughs> I, I didn't say you were excluded, Alexi. I know. I don't want to catch a, a Phelan or a Halen, for that matter. That's that's getting into people's private life. Um, she's also going to provide you guys with a cart. It is a mule-drawn cart. It is supplied with enough food, water, Jeffrey! to get you to Candlekeep. The mule. Which is where you're now going to be on the road to. For on next session, can you guess what you guys are going to be doing? Shopping. Leveling up. Yeah. Leveling up and give me shopping lists. Uh, <laughs> I don't think we need to do shopping on stream. Shopping! Okay, that's fair. Uh, but Maybe we we'll... do that in like a, a quick mini session off stream. Yeah, yeah it or could just be now, list. later, whatever. I'm, I'm not busy, you guys, or yeah. I don't know. Are there, are there price lists for things online, too? 
You can find it <laughs> like through 5e e tools. Yes. Okay. Um, depending on what you're looking for. If you're looking for anything more than common items, which you might be with the amount of money you have. Like, if you guys are looking for magical weapons, please talk to me. You might <laughs> want them. How much did it cost me to uh, effectively provide Rosalind with enough armed guards to make sure she gets home safely? <laughs> So for that trip, you're looking at about five gold per guard. So let's say you sent a group of ten armed guards, plus you hired a that ship. You'll get at sixty gold. That's very reasonable. Um, this is the point uh, where you realize adventurers are actually very rich. Oh, we're so rich. Well, I, how... mean, I knew I was rich in the beginning anyway, but <laughs> how much gold did we get from this? I know we got oh, originally thousands. Oh. Yeah, uh, I'm, Emily I'm gonna has no gonna have to give you this up at put, some point. She'll put it in the chat how much in total yeah, it is, and then we'll just divide that by five. Yeah. No NPCs don't get a share. Yeah. No NPCs. And I'm I'm I gonna stick, MVP you know, another sixty gold in Rosalind's pocket just to make sure that she's Yeah. Well kept. Okay. <laughs> I give empathy one gold coin. <laughs> empathy. This is the most I've ever been paid. I love this job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, empathy. Uh, Henry has no use for gold. <laughs> so I will say before we go, we will hopefully be back again this month, continuing to fundraise for the Trevor Project. I'm hoping we're not waiting all the way until August before we play again. <laughs> August 13th and 14th, we have a special marathon game. Things to look forward to. It is a spooky campaign. Things to look forward to. I'm pretty sure most of the characters are going to be ridiculous. They're all from horror themed things. We so far have two characters. And and one might be a fan favorite Stranger Things character. <laughs> by the name of Eddie Munson. Um and I'm so excited for Eddie to to, to be in this campaign. I know. Um I cannot express enough. Um, until then, I hope you guys, uh, all have a good, however many weeks it's going to take. <laughs> and yeah. I'm going to send you guys on a raid to my Wolfie. Wolfie. Oh, Scout. Wolfie's playing Fallout, right? Wolfie's Wolfie. playing Fallout. Wolfie. I saw her going live. I have not been lurking because I didn't want to take more internet. <laughs> Yeah, you, you were using enough as it is. All right. And oh, yeah, we have a raid message. And we have a sub raid message, do. although that doesn't populate it, as a sub. It doesn't populate as such, but you know. We in it. It will be cute. It looks like that. There we go. All right, I'm going to send you guys off on the raid. Have fun. We'll see you next time. Bye. 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 Mm-hmm.